So we've got one egg. She said there was three eggs, I think, didn't she? So there must be three mine, two more mines that we need to explore and get the eggs from. Did we go over here? I don't think we did. Oh. Southern Mine Summary Document Week 1. Mining has been proceeding smoothly and we're seeing signs of a solid vein already. The tools are still holding up well and we finished constructing our shelter. We haven't spent long here but we're getting settled in and adopting a good rhythm and schedule to our work. So now we have an egg. Oh, should we paint it orange? Yes, orange looks cool. I guess we could go back, then go this way, and then go up. Yeah, mm, yeah, let's do that. Okay. Oh, we have zero health. Shit. So we desperately need some scraps. Because we're gonna die. You must be the archivist that Eugene told us about. We're happy you came to help us out of this predicament with Charles and that madman Warren. You know, that old train of yours will need some major upgrades if you want to take down Charles. There are some metal scraps in my barn that you could use to improve it. Here's the key to the barn. It's just up the path, but I'll mark it on your map anyway. I got some people are just giving us their scrap. It's very generous. Uh, he said he mark on the map. It's there. So I'm yet to encounter Charles where I'm indoors. So I don't know if he can come indoors. And I'm not sure if he attacks NPCs as well. Because surely they would be killed. Even though Eugene has promised to send help once he reaches the mainland, I've just realised he never mentioned if he'd return. I suppose he's the type of person to ignore the fine details of a plan. Everyone on the island is trying to find a way out of this mess, and I can only hope that his archivist friend... <coughs> I, oh, I can only hope that this archivist friend of his can work some magic. I don't care what strange things they've done before, or what practice, practices they use, as long as Charles ends up dead. Most folks around here want the same, but then there are those crazies that want to leave him be. That darn Warren has lost his marbles. Let's replenish our health. That took all our scrap, but it's done. Um, and then we want to go to the next NPC, which is just a little bit further up. And I'm pretty sure this is the pickle one. Why would you want to use that? Why would we want to let him know where we are? I also don't know what the frick is up with the floor. I, I think it's meant to be like a carpet, but it's, um, I don't know. <clears throat> um, I love the pickles. Pickles are the love. Pickles are the life. I love the pickles. They make me feel the happiness. Pickle, pickle, pickles. Pickles. Here she is. jar of pickles locked away inside my pickle cave it sounds very inappropriate <laughs> i would have gotten them hours ago but i lost my <clears throat> pickle cave someone else on the island might have some lock pickles i mean lock picks and if you can bring me my special jar of pickles i'll give you all the scrap metal i have as a reward okay do her pickle cave Ooh, and purple paint as well. Okay. Ah, uh, pickles, pickles, pick, 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 pickles. Okay, there's a jar of pickles. Let's get the pickles to the woman. got quite a lot of scrap. Let's do all the upgrades. Okay. Um, 
So we want to go to this one next, I think. And then what we'll do is detour this way, possibly here, and then circle all the way back and do these people, I think. Oh, there's something up there as well that we can go look at. Well, hi. My goodness, the others actually convinced someone to come help us. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad you came, but I simply cannot stay any longer. This island is too much for my nerves to handle. I've brought all my belongings here so I can leave immediately when a boat arrives. Although now that I think about it, I did forget my journal at home. Could you bring it to me? It's a dangerous journey for sure, but you might manage with that train of yours. I'll give you all the scrap metal I have. Just please, bring the journal next time you're here. I mean, I don't know why they don't just all leave the island. Surely if there's a murderous train... Giga Spider, whatever he is, you would just leave. Yes. Um, I've been praying someone from the first evacuation group would just send back another boat, but I guess they, they all think that George's supply boat is still evacuating people. They're all safe and cozy on the mainland, but feel no obligation to make sure everyone else escapes. I know that Charles sinking the boat isn't something anyone would expect, but still, to think I would have left this place by now, it makes me sick. So can Charles swim? So yeah, I say we go here. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Where is he? Where is he? Where are you going? Oh, he's there. He's there! Yeah, he's retreating. He's gonna be lingering around there now, isn't he? I'm just gonna go to the train. I'm too scared to run to the train. Okay, I'm just gonna have to go. I'm just gonna make a break for it. I did want to just quickly investigate this. Uh, shit. Let me just read this. Unloading all the supplies has been an incredibly eye-opening experience. Here at the port, we've been working all day every day. We're tasked with unloading the boat and running supplies up the hill to the tracks where Theodore and Eddie deliver them to different sites. Um, <clears throat> different sites will be mining. The sheer cost of all this infrastructure is mind-blowing. With all the success Warren's family has had in this business, I'm surprised she's choosing to take such a risk here. Oh, shit. 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 I'm just going to have to go back to the train. Run. Okay, I'm back, I'm back. Oh, this looks a bit of a safer area, actually. Um, maybe not. Got a few more bits of scrap, so we'll just, um... Increase the armour and maybe the speed. Oh shit, okay. What do I do? Where do I go? Do I, is it better to stay on the train? Oh my god, he's there. Guessing he won't come for me if I'm near some kind of like shelter. No, it's coming for me. Oh shit, okay. Oh my god. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Surely he can't get me here. Oh my Jesus Christ. Psych. It's not really that scary when he's not chasing you. Okay, he's gone. Bye bye. And he just sits back down. <laughs> okay. Uh, before the cave in, I pushed a square, a spare rail car into the canyon using my beautiful old mining train. I figured a rail car would be a fine place to hide my more important belongings, especially on a rural and unfinished track. I went to get something out of my rail car in the canyon about a week ago, but some of Warren's men had built a campsite or base of some sort there. I don't know how to get my box back safely, and I don't know how long it'll last without me. So we're going to go get his box. To Araniram, archivist museum person. Thank you. My apologies. I'm not the best with introductions, but I don't believe either of us are here for socializing. I just so happen to have a little business opportunity, if you're interested. Mm -hmm. A very special little box of mine is in a rail car in a nearby canyon. 
but the goons have set up a camp to protect that area. Find the blue box and bring it back to me. I'll give you some scraps as pay. I think I'm gonna have to shoot him. Oh shit, 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 shit. <laughs> but we can shoot him from here. There are things we can hide in, I think, over here. There's like the rail cars and stuff. Oh, I think this is another sneaky one. Oh. I needed. Mm -hmm. Now take these scraps and skedaddle. Skedaddle. Oh. No, whoa. <laughs> he scared me and I scared him. Okay, I'll just gonna just gonna jump down and get in my train. Right. So we kind of have to go all the way around, don't we? Um. Although no, 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 no. We could reverse. Let's reverse. Oh shit. Shit, 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 shit. Stopped. Oh. Paul like asked me to weapon. a new weapon to help you hunt Charles. And using my expensive demolitions experience, I made this rocket launcher. I've been wanting to see Warren's empire crumble for a long time. So building this puppy was a hell of an opportunity. Now that you're here, I need a few minutes to remove some safety features. While I'm working on that, why don't you bring that box of rocket ammunition back here from inside the bunker down the rail? Oh, the bunker we just passed. I'm still debating if Warren made us bring our families to this hellhole so we'd never so we'd never need to leave or to keep information about his business practices away from the mainland. Either way, I want that man in a noose. Paul asked me to design a new weapon for the monster hunter that Eugene is sending, and knowing what I do about explosives knowing what I do about knowing what I do about explosives. You can bet I made the most powerful rocket launcher I could. Warren, you don't stand a chance. I'm sure Eugene told you all about me, so I need not introduce myself. <coughs> N name's Greg, by the way. Hi, Greg. And in case you haven't heard already, Warren, the mine boss, is keeping three monster eggs locked away. We're unsure why he wants to protect the eggs. If they hatch, they would surely turn into monstrous creatures like Charles. Mm -hmm. To prevent this... We, we need you to steal all three and, and use them to bait Charles so we can destroy him. Okay. Uh, one, one of the eggs is, is in the north mine. Uh, here's, here's the key to the entrance. What, what you, what you writing? I need to write this theory down fast before Warren finds out that I'm onto his dirty plot. My theory is that Mr. Warren Warlord III is trying to hatch and raise more of these eight-legged critters. A whole army for who knows what purpose. They found a whole nest of these eggs while clearing out debris from the cave-in. We also know that they're as hard as diamonds, completely indestructible. The miners spent months using the temple prism to suck the energy out of all the eggs, but before they could destroy the last three, Old Man Warren stopped them. Warren must have realized how powerful these things are, and rather than protect us from them, wants to use them to take over the world. I'm on to you, Warren. Greg, genius extraordinaire. Okay, Greg. So we need to go get the explosives, don't we? That is the first order of business. Oh, hang on. There's also an NBC up here. Let's go visit them. Okay. So this is a lighthouse. 
I mean, it looks it looks cool though, doesn't it? It does look cool. Okay. Ocean Watch, day 68. Please deliver a copy to Paul. I'm guessing Paul is Eugene's son. He probably said it at the start, but I've already forgotten, so. I went outside to do a routine check of the lighthouse. As I walked around the corner of the building, I saw that beast, Charles. He spotted me and charged straight at the hill in my direction. That spider train is a hideous monster. I can't understand why Warren wants us to stay on Arenarium. Arenarium? I can't remember how it was pronounced. Instead of trying to escape the beast. I suppose Warren has simply gone crazy, thinking he can handle the situation on his own. In any case, Charles ran right over to me, trampling my leg. I won't be able to attend the upcoming meeting and have asked Greg to bring back a copy of your notes if possible. Claire. We haven't met, but I've heard lots about you coming to help us. I have a favor to ask. The breakers on the side of the lighthouse need- I was recently attacked by Charles, so I'm unable to do it myself. The breakers are in the nearby supply shed. If you go get them and repair the lighthouse, I can try signaling passing ships to come help us. Once you finish, I have some spare scraps to give you. And all the scrap. Four of them. I'm trying to see what's um, on this dock as well. I imagine there'll be some scrap. Up. Scrap there. Oh, they have to be in order. Cool. There's a lighthouse on then. I feel like that will attract Charles. Fixing the lighthouse will definitely increase our chances of being spotted. Yes. Here are those scraps I promised. Thank you. See, there's lots of doors like this that I'm not really sure how you get into them because you can't use lockpicks. So, I wonder what Charles does at night. Does he? Does he nap? Does he sleep? Does he have a bed? Does he go back into his like little cave? What does he do? Where does he go? Okay. Okay. Locked. Okay, annoying. Or do I not need to get in it? Do I just need the charges? Oh, unless we blow up the door. Because we're getting explosive ammo, not dynamite. Right? Oh yeah. Okay. I'm running away. How did that still hurt me? <laughs> um Okay. Oh. Why is there so much blood in here? For fuck's sake. Right, this is the ammo. Fabulous. Oh, and another note. Rocket launcher, ammunition testing. Version one failed, version two failed, version three, 13 second flight, version four, success. The launcher is in complete working order, so I'll let you take it from here. Thanks. Oh, and take good care of it. I After will. you're done, I have a few people to visit with it if you catch my drift. Okay. <laughs> Look at our weapons then. So yeah, damage is amazing, but fire rate is very bad. Damage is really poor on the flamethrower, but slowing and fire rate's really good. I'm just going to swap them around so I can compare. Damage pretty freaking low on the derailleur, so I might just keep the flamethrower on and give it a whirl. And there's, I know it's like there, there's no shops, there's no general stores and stuff, so I don't really know how this is a sustainable place to live. For the past seven days, there have been some strange happenings in the nearby boulder field. A week ago, I went over there to clear my mind, as I often do, and found a strange drawing pin to a lamppost. I took down the page and burned it because it seemed like the best way to deal with paranormal paper. The next night, I found even more drawings and burned them as well. I found exactly 16 drawings, multiple nights in a row, and now they're accompanied by horrific, ghastly noises. I don't feel safe going out there again. My best guess is the place is haunted, maybe by our last crew, our lost crew members, maybe by something else. The giant train that's rolling around probably that say you're that monster hunter mm-hmm i must know do you have any experience with ghosts no someone or something has been painting exactly 16 drawings to lampposts in the boulder field every night i always collect and burn them but as i was looking for them last night i began hearing strange noises and seeing strange things i only found half of them yesterday because of the commotion 
could you go find the last date and bring them to me? Sure. Looks perfectly safe. It's like Slender Man. Gives me Slender Man vibes. Oh, also accompanied by the massive <laughs> bit of blood. It's exactly how the Slender Man game goes. Oh my god! What a lovely little Easter egg! That's so cool. Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh shit! What do I do? Oh my god, how am I supposed to escape it? Run away, run away, run away, run away! Oh my god, I have to find all the drawings. Shit. This is so cool. I don't know how many pages are. Oh, it just yeets you out of the area? Four. Okay, we've got four. Um, she said they were on the lamppost, so I suppose we just keep looking for lampposts. And we'll find them. Oh my god, why does he fly out of nowhere? Six, okay, and we've got two more to go. Okay. Grab the page! Oh jeez. Oh my god, it's there, it's there. Come on! Just let me get the last diddly dang page. Yes! <laughs> Cool.